At this point, I think it must be true that Black Seraph, the creator of Garlic OS for the Ambernick RG35XX, spends more time developing this operating system, this custom firmware, I should say, than I do actually playing the device. Just the other day, they posted something very, very cool. We are now officially, nothing really on the screen here to show you just yet, we are now officially on the 1.0 version of Garlic OS, and there have been some really big updates even since the last time that we looked at this. Look at the length of all of these change logs, right? Like, this is absolutely crazy how much stuff has happened. And since we talked last, which was about HDMI, that was the end of January, look at this. All of this stuff, all the way up to here, has happened. So we're going to take a moment. And we're going to look at some of these big changes here in Garlic OS 1.0. Actually, we're up to 1.0.3. And yeah, like I said, there are definitely some good things here. So let's jump to handy dandy overhead camera and let's start taking a look at some of these things. So the first thing you're going to notice is that it now actually says the version number up there in the corner. Garlic OS 1.0.3. That is pretty cool to just know exactly kind of where you're at. And yeah, look, as I go through this, there are going to be like a million small things, right? Like little adjustments to different cores in RetroArch. I'm not going to go through all of these things. I'm just going to kind of touch on the big things. So one cool thing here that you may notice as well, if you look up here into my battery icon, you may see a little plus sign in there. And this is regarding some overclocking and some underclocking. So when you're on your home screen, I believe he wrote that it's going to be running at like 700 megahertz, which is a little bit like, it's like an underclock to save some battery. But then once you're in the game, you actually have some adjustment here. Let's go back up close again. If I hold down menu and hit select, you can see two pluses, a minus, two minuses, nothing, a plus, and then back to two pluses. So you can toggle between these different states. Okay, so what do these things mean? So right here, they wrote two minuses equals 500 megahertz, which would be a pretty severe underclock. One minus equals 700 megahertz. Nothing is the one gigahertz default. A plus is 1.3, and then two pluses is 1.6. Now, that being said, the 1.6 gigahertz caused some instability, so that actually got rolled back. If we scroll up here, settle for 1.5 gigahertz overclock. Now, I don't know if we are exactly at those numbers now because the last time it was mentioned, brought back the overclock select toggle as the conservative governor made too many wrong assumptions during extended testing. The toggle now controls the in-game CPU frequency. The menu always runs at 700 megahertz. So I'm not sure if what I just listed off are the correct uh, numbers, but basically what you should be thinking about this as two minuses is really underclocked, one minus is a little underclocked, nothing is stock, one plus is overclocked, two pluses is very overclocked. So what would you do with this? Well, if you're playing a game that is really easy to run, like an old arcade game or something, maybe drop it down to two minuses and save some battery. If you're playing something really hard to emulate, something like a PlayStation game perhaps, put two pluses in there and maybe it's gonna run a little bit better at that point. One cool thing here is now that when you're on the home screen, if you hit the menu button, you're going to go into your recents to allow you to jump straight back into a game. Now, if you're on another screen in the Garlic OS menu, like I said before, that takes you there. But if you long press the menu button, it's gonna take you back to the home screen. As of late January, you can actually set the time, which I actually had not done when I started making this video. Press the start button. And look at that, guys. We can actually set the time now, which is really, really useful because some games, like some Pokemon games, actually require the time being there to know if it's day or night to catch different Pokemon. So that is awesome to see. Let's go into our recent. So there you can see my Pokemon Fire Red Omega save state. If I press A, it's going to put me right back there. But if instead I press start, it's going to actually load me in without the save state. It's going to start the game fresh. And honestly, there's been an absolute metric ton of bug fixes that you've seen and perhaps some features that I'm not remembering to talk about in this video. At any rate, though, if you've got an Ambernick RG35XX, you've got to try out Garlic OS. It is only getting better and better by the day. And honestly, now it, it's so far past being better than the stock operating system now, it's not even funny. It is the only way to be playing this thing. So massive shout out to Black Seraph. They've actually been very nice and helped me with a couple of problems on Twitter uh, while I've been kind of covering this. So very, very cool of them to be uh, open and accessible and so forth. So link to this in the description. I also will put down there a video on how to install 
or look OS on your device, it is very, very easy. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content just like this. Guys, until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.